Hello everybody, I'm Storm here, and welcome back to Hearts of Iron 4, The Common Turn. In the last episode, we focused on our war with Turkey, and we made some pretty good progress. We're about halfway through the country, and starting to reach their large victory points. The problem is, we kind of got bogged down a little bit, because we ran out of equipment for our troops. So... We basically have halted our attack for the time being while we work on getting that equipment back to the troops. So, in that effort, what I went ahead and did is I went into my recruitment. I have prioritized reinforcements, so we're not going to be um, sending any of the reinforcements. I canceled a lot of my, my training that we were doing. Um, and I also moved the divisions, or the armies, that were participating in the war in Turkey to a, its own separate theater with prioritized uh, reinforcements. So, all of the equipment that we are currently building should be going to the troops in, on the Turkish front. And as you might be able to notice here, it looks like that they have both Italian and German volunteers in there as well so that's also causing a bit of trouble now also on a suggestion from one of my viewers i am i set up another army with the available divisions we had they were not on the polish front um and i have and i'm planning a naval invasion across the black sea and i'm gonna hit them here the other side of the bosphorus and try and take Istanbul while their forces are distracted on this line here. So hopefully there is not any real significant defense in Istanbul. There's probably going to be something. I'm hoping we can easily overwhelm it. Uh, so that's part of the plan. I only have nine ships here in the Black Sea. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just merge them. Uh, so we'll see how well that goes. Uh, I know that Turkey does have a navy. Um, we'll have to see how it goes. Um, I am moving some fighters and naval bombers here to put over the Black Sea to help protect the ships. Should the Turkish navy show up. So. We'll work on that. And we're also going to have to work on getting the, in the industry built up. You know. Because, well, you know, we, we need to build more equipment. Um, and we also ran into a little bit of trouble with our political power. So I kind of miscalculated a little bit. But we are increasing positive again. So once we are back in the positive, then things should resume. All right. So that was the fighters. Now, 1937. Oh, yeah, we should definitely be working on this in industrial stuff. We need to prioritize that. Low manpower. 600,000 troops is low manpower. Man, they are attacking me, but... Should be okay. As long as we're not actually taking any attrition, we should be all right. What do I need? Inventory equipment, I guess. Yeah. So we'll get that back. German Joint Air Research. As stipulated by the treaty with Germany, some of their special research projects share discoveries with our engineers. Recent breakthrough in radar technology has come to our attention, opening up unexpected opportunities to advance our research in the field. It's Battlefield, Battlefield Support Doctrine, Jet Technology Research Time, and Research Bonus to Radar Tech. Okay. Let's see, this is going to take 
70 days to prepare the invasion. That's not bad. But we only have 31 of 40 reserved convoys? Uh, we are building the convoys, right? Uh, we should probably move a naval yard over to convoys. 2.82 per month. Alright, so we got the anti-aircraft and the anti-tank guns, but I'm not sure we actually have the industry to build them at the moment. So we need to concentrate on this. Uh, no, we want to do this next. And... And that. And then the construction tech. Alright, so we are positive. Again. So we should be able to continuing our influence on Iran and Afghanistan. So are my bars coming up? My bars are coming up. Good. Good. And everybody has... No, oh, actually, hold on. Need to switch theaters. Yeah, they're still saying it's not great. Thirty-three of forty. We need seven more. No, Mongolia, keep your troops. We need seven more of those guys. Now we are. No, we're not. Actually, we are not building any. Uh, let's queue up. Let's queue up some of those then. Start building some of those. Uh, naval yards. Yep, we just need six more. We need support equipment. Okay, let's do support equipment. Current fighting strength, 32%. What are you short on? Oh, all of the light tank destroyers, light self-propelled artillery, support equipment, all that kind of stuff. But they can fight. They have enough equipment to fight properly. So our air, yep, we're good there. All right, so we just need four more convoys, which we are building at a rate of what? 3 per month, well, 2.8 per month, so it'll take two more months before we'll have enough convoys. Alright. 
We're gonna have another one of these. April 26th, okay. I'm probably gonna wanna queue up some more civilian factories. Anti-fascist diplomacy, okay. Angelus of Austria. Let's queue up some more of those. There we go. Definitely do need more civilian factories. What do we need? Move industry to the Urals. So it removes the military factories and civilian factories from Moscow and Leningrad and adds them to deeper in our territory. I'm not sure we really need to do that just yet. Take 70 days. Militarized schools. Far East fortifications. Construction speed plus 10%. I think we're gonna want that. So let's go for militarized schools and then workers' culture. All right, so we need three more convoys. All right, I'm gonna continue to put this in. Support equipment for now. We'll build this carrier in 7.36 years. <laughs> Well, we need a lot of that. Two more convoys. Hopefully by the end of the month, that'll be ready. Well, this guy's saying he's good. This guy's still saying not so much. One more. One more convoy. Now what's your problem? Has half the infantry equipment it needs. And half the artillery it needs. Hmm. It still should be alright. You have all the tanks you need, you have all the self-propelled artillery, you just you don't have the tank destroyers in any aircraft. Again, not worried about it. Defense in depth. Alright. And I was looking at these, and I think I'm going to do this branch here, the deep battle. Uh, let's see, this is going to be... Enables tactic relentless assault, supply consumption minus 10%. Large front operations. Let's do it. It appears that they have stopped poking me. And yep, my bars. Oh, nope, they're poking me here.
Yeah, but definitely these uh, divisions are looking a lot healthier than they were before. So, that is good. Alright, we now have all the transports we need. So we just need to gain control of the Black Sea. Let's give you an Admiral just so you have one. Patrol the Black Sea. You guys, get out there. Launch. Yep, appears we have engaged. Some Turkish subs, well, and the Turkish surface fleet. We sunk five of their submarines. Sunk a destroyer. Oh, our guys are on the ground. And there's nothing in Istanbul. I'm gonna put you guys on aggressive. Let you run roughshod. Go for it. Oh, we just lost two light cruisers. And two submarines. Come on. Ha <laughs> ha! There we go, that's all he needed to do was take a stumble. Okay, so we wanna puppet them. So that should work. Now Turkey should become a puppet. And I don't think there's anything else. Give score. Yeah, there's nothing else we can do. We're done. The Turkish Socialist Republic was puppeted. Alright, so they are now part of the common turn. Uh, how does Iran go? They're at the 49%. Afghanistan is at 41%. And we lost two light cruisers. We lost two submarines. Sunk six destroyers, one light cruiser, and five of their submarines. Alright. And you guys are heading back. Good. Actually, you cancel your orders. And just stay home. And you guys can just go back to the... Back to the depot. Yeah, I thought I cleared that. All right, these guys go back to depot. Ah, free dockyards. Naval reserve. I think we want to, again, focus on our heavy cruisers for the moment. And work on artillery. Yes, okay. So, what we're going to do is we're going to move everybody back into the same theater now. And then we... Take you guys, we're going to redeploy. Let's redeploy everybody back up here and we're going to decide what we're going to do with them. Alright, they put them there. This is the armor. Well, and some infantry as well. And you guys also come back over here. We have to reorganize them. Improved machine tools. 39, we're not quite there yet. Excavation. Resource gain efficiency. Synthetic oil. I'm not sure we're gonna need that. 38. Reinforced rate plus 5%. Let's get 
with the radio. Now, one thing we actually do need... So we have a 100% head of time penalty reduction on the A32s. So I definitely want to get those and start working on medium tanks. We also have a 50% ahead of time, 50% time reduction on the T60s. Militarized schools. Ooh, Molotov Ribbentrop Pact. German Foreign Ministry has proposed a non aggression pact between our two nations. This treaty will greatly increase our mutual trade and an additional secret protocol suggests the division of Eastern Europe into German and Poland. Uh, German and Soviet spheres. While the fascists in Berlin may not be trustworthy, this pact will allow us to deal with Finland, the Baltic states, and Romania without fear of outside interference. The eastern territories of Poland will also befall us in the event of Polish collapse. We will sign the treaty. All right. Now Germany is demanding the Sudetenland. All right. France bans communism. Okay, so does that mean they no longer have any communist? Well, they got a little bit of communist. Concentrated industry too. All right, so we're going to go for workers' culture. And I'm going to go ahead and grab the A32. Ooh, we have 500 army experience we need to d use. What I'm probably going to do is add any air and anti-tank to my infantry even though we're not building any anti-air or any tank yet anti-tank throw those to the top for now how's my construction looking? Construction's looking all right. I'm also going to Im increase the amount of construction on our light cruisers, and then probably we'll do destroyers next. The big heavy capital ships. I'm not going to worry about that much for now. Okay, so yeah, these guys still need... Let's go ahead and re-queue up these, uh... These guys. Train these guys as well. Now, they need a recon company. Now, do I want to go with support artillery or do I want to put main line artillery in here? Hmm. Let's see, if we replace one of these with mainline... See, this is forest, hills... Plus 35, where's mountains? 
Phoebus, river, fort, marsh, forest, hills, mountain. Plus 35% attack. I will reduce... But it is going to increase our salt attack, increase our heart attack, increase our breakthrough, increase our piercing. So if I add this stuff here, make that adjustment. Nineteen thirty-nine. I think we need to start working on some air doctrines. Strategic destruction, battlefield support, operational. I'm gonna stick with battlefield support. Forty-three. Iran's at fifty percent even. Well, fifty point two five, fifty point two eight. So it is coming up. So I want to stage a coup. Or hope that they flip over. Let's give it a little bit of time. Perhaps they will flip to communists on their own. And actually, let's let's go talk to uh, So I get a negative thirty penalty for not being at war. But if I'm at war and there might be a war that we drag them into, it's a negative fifty penalty. Okay. Require cost of point to political power. Reasons for exception: world tensions at seven per at thirty nine percent. Might have to wait till the world tension comes up a bit more. So what I'm waiting for is the A32 to get done. Uh, now what about mechanized? Mechanized is 1940. Well, 38, we can start improving the infantry a little bit. I might not want to switch to the this improved... Oh, Fourth International. A number of communist delegates from around the world met in Paris today for a founding conference. The supporters of Trotsky's theories taking the lead, the groundwork for the Fourth International was laid, although it's still unclear the impact these efforts of organized will have on the international political stage. The news appear to have stirred Stalin's suspicions. He has suspected many high-ranking members of the party and the military sovereign military to secretly support Trotsky many of them are still alive with his paranoia back in full force he has grown increasingly reclusive his distrust and instability have caused a crisis in the Soviet government at this rate the nation will be plunged into civil war all right well we'll see how that goes I think that we're going to have to handle that correctly. 
when it happens. Alright, so this is all my infantry. So the thing we're going to do is I'm going to take my infantry. And we're going to throw it on that front. You guys as well. Get over there. This main infantry as well. Get over there. You guys. Workers' culture. The Munich Agreement. Alright. The German demands for the Sudeten territory in Czechoslovakia, which is home to, the, to a considerable German minority, have intensified. All right, so they have demanded the Sudeten land. Air experience plus 25. Eh, I'm not that worried about it. Women in your country are allowed to become military pilots. 20. We go with the infrastructure stuff. I think we're going to improve the Stalin line. You guys, I think we're going to add to this. The German Reich is justifying against us? Really? We haven't even gone through the Molotov Ribbentrop Pact yet. War with the USSR. Okay, well, looks like they're not going after Poland, they're going after me. Poland. All right. Well. We'll have to see how that turns out. Because, I mean, they don't have any ground path to get to me. Formation flying. Alright, good. Let's start improving my infantry equipment. Alright, but we're at time for this episode. We're going to see how this all plays out. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment. And I will see you next time.